you were married to your husband, but you were having children with other men. I was, and he raised them as his own and knew them to be his own until the divorce. He ended up unhoused. And the first man that I had the affair with is now is now my boyfriend, the father of my first child, my son. And uh, he was my husband's assistant manager. So he started bringing this guy around and I made, I made the first move, of course. I feel like I just sensed his kindness. I mean, still to this day, this, this man that I'm with is the kindest, most patient man I've ever met. But one day he came over my house without my ex-husband there, and you know what happened next. And we only saw each other once a week to do this because of how my schedule, my ex-husband's schedule, and his schedule. But the second affair, who the man is the father of my daughter, he actually worked with me this time. He was my maintenance guy at my leasing job. Again kind man who was nice to me. And then with my daughter, she's Hispanic. So she came out a little more tan than the both of us. And just as she grew up, just kept that tan skin. And still, she looks so much like me. He was just like, yep, she looks like my wife. And here we are, three baby daddies and two kids. So yeah, it's been wild. Hi. Now this is downright despicable. And this is a common thing, guys. I know I keep covering these videos and I talked about a personal situation with my family where something like this happened. And I know of women who've done this and it seems to be pretty common. This is why paternity tests should be mandatory right off top, especially the way DNA is now. It has to be a way to do this. There has to be a way to pass this law with all this paternity fraud. And women, they just laugh about it. And a lot of times the kids think that this person is their father and then they lie all this time and never want the child to know. I don't know what's up with that. But it seems to be a hive mentality when it comes to that too in terms of women just not wanting their kids to know who the real father is and not telling. I understand why you wouldn't want to tell the man. You're getting your cheeks clapped by all these different dudes and these dudes on the outside just laughing. Because at the end of the day, they're not going to go and tell the guy unless... Because they never know this guy might go off and delete them. But this woman is just three baby daddies. I don't know if the third was the husband, but it sounds like it wasn't based off what she said. But this is just horrible. And you're getting on camera just telling this story. And obviously the whole family knows. Your girlfriends, all these other people. Several dudes clapping the cheeks. And you just, you're going to stay with the dude and be like, well, he's not going to know. And the second one that she said was Hispanic is just crazy, man. But uh, we got another clip on Club Shay Shay, and he tells a story about with his mom. Let's get into that clip. Let's go. He was a homosexual. You know, he, wasn't, he, was, he was a bisexual with my mom, but he knew he always knew he was gay. Right. And when we got back in his life, we found that he had married a man and mm -hmm. all this shit. And, but, you know, I didn't give a fuck about that. I said, right. man, my dad around. I just didn't know if the gay part was hereditary. I said, man, I got to get in shape because, you know, most gay dudes are really in good shape, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, and if I'm going to be in the gay world, right. I, I don't want to get turned down by them as much as I got turned down by women. But, you know, <laughs> but it, it, but the thing about it was, you know, I embraced that. But then he stopped coming around i wrote him a text message i said man we just got back in each other's life and now you want to act fucking funny i mean you never was around i mean when we come down to your city you could at least come down and you know and i just went off and then he said well let me share something with your ass and he you know and he sent me this whole certified letter telling me that my mama was pregnant when he went off to college and came back she was pregnant and he, he was still a virgin, so he don't know how she got pregnant. Like mm. Macklin Conception. And I said, you're a damn lie. You trying to call my mama a hoe? And he, and he said, I, don't, I ain't calling her a hoe, but I know she knows some people. <laughs> <laughs> Long and short of it, I said, well, we need to prove it. You know, I'm going to fly down there. We're going to go to a blood <laughs> test. But he he was like, no, nah, this nigga big. He, he, he want to whip my ass. I don't want to see him in person. Right. Because I, I don't want it to go down like that. Because he, you know, so we did a swab, you know. Right. And we got the paternity test back. And it was crazy. It was like a movie. I'm trying to write the story now. And then, you know, I was sitting there and I get the results when I'm at the IHOP with my mom. She's sitting right across me and I had the phone on speaker. I had to turn it off 
I'm speaking because the lady was the paternity test. I ain't want my mom to hear this shit. So I said, yeah, go on. Tell me, tell me what I need to know. And she going to say, well, when it comes down to the it was just like the Maury Post. You could have went on Maury. Y'all yeah. might say that. Yeah, she said, did your father, did you talk with your father? Zero, 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 point one. Yeah, he ain't my dad. And I was like, holy shit. And I'm looking at my mom like, what the fuck? Why you didn't tell me? And I and then, then I finally confronted confronted her. You know, and women always want to cry out of some shit. The situation, You're like oh, he's lying. I said he ain't lying. I got the shit right here. You know, right. I wasn't mad at her. I was at his own up to it. Right. I wasn't going. I love my mama. She right. been. She was there for me from the get go. Because no matter what, she's still your mom. Yeah, I mean, she mama. You know, it ain't. That. She thought it was gonna change our relationship, which I don't think it did. But I don't know. But when I got a wife, of course, it was gonna change some, some right. kind of substance. But I just couldn't believe that she wasn't trying to own up to it. Then she finally owned up to it. It took her forever to ask me who my father was. And I gave, she gave me the, a little bit of information and I took it. And I had a friend who I, my, my, my jujitsu, uh, professor, he was a private eye at one time. He took that little information that this lady found because I was on a podcast. Mm -hmm. She went on True Find and found all this stuff. So I sent it to him. He went and found out where he lived and everything. And he, lo and behold, he was still living in St. Louis all the time. All the time I was there, he was in St. Louis. He had three other, he had three other kids. He had a Chinese daughter, half Chinese daughter. He had two other sons that lived right around the corner from me. Wow. At one time. And I said, this nigga been in St. Louis all this time. He is the grand champion of hide, hide and go see. <laughs> I said, cause, cause I never saw him. But when I went all through that, I would never let my child go through that go with through me. That. He gonna know who his dad. He, if, he, if I ain't shit, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna know like, you ain't he gonna, he gonna say, my dad ain't shit, but I know where he is. He on the couch in the kitchen. <laughs> right. <laughs> True. That whole thing, I don't know if you remember, there was one episode of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, right, where Carlton had supposedly got this woman pregnant and she had a kid and everything. And then basically he ended up admitting that he was a virgin. And in the case of Lavelle, this dude basically was playing along this whole time. Basically going along with, hey, I'm the dad and such and such. And the mom went along with it knowing that she had stepped off and my man never even clapped or whatever reason she came back from college pregnant whatever the story was he said so it was impossible but women will go along with that as long as he's playing along with it and he's just like okay i'll play like i'm the dad and the woman actually told him knowing that she was pregnant it's beyond me but fellas you can never be too careful even if it's your wifey for lifey even if it was your first even if it's your first and vice versa you never know because things do happen just like this woman who was married to the dude. You never know. It happens, folks. It happens. So I highly encourage you guys, get your stuff, get it checked out. Check that DNA. Compare the DNA. Make sure it's your child before you end up looking crazy, man. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next videos that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. Let's run it up to a million. Quit playing with me. Peace.